Breaking news. We just got new video from Metro Police after an officer was shot yesterday. What you just heard there were police negotiating with the suspect. However, he ended up turning the gun on himself in front of the officers. He died on the scene just moments ago. Metro Police gave us that video. It's the story we covered as breaking news all day Tuesday. Officer Brian Sherman was shot while responding to a shooting call on Sugarloaf Drive in South Nashville. Police say this was all a setup to get off officers to the house. They say the person who called 911 claimed their brother shot their mom, but believe that caller was actually the suspect. 22 year old Salman Muhammad officers tried to negotiate with him, but as you just heard, they say he shot himself in the head in the driveway in front of officers. There is also video moments before that part that shows officers interacting with Muhammad's mother. You're his mom? Yes, I don't know what happened. And just, I call you know, I'm fasting, and then I see the police. So you live in the house? I live in the house. Is there anybody else in the house with him right no, now? No, just he said, I say, come out, come out. You have to hold your hand. He say, no, I want to die. I say, please, don't. Well, as you heard there, the mother says no one else was in the home at the time. She says she tried convincing her son to leave, but he told her he wanted to die. Officer Sherman did he go to the hospital, but was released just hours later. Well, today, families who live near that home are recounting what happened. News 4's Marissa Sulik was on the scene there last night. She was also there this morning. Marissa, what have neighbors told you about the family involved in this shooting? Marius, today I got the chance to talk with neighbors in the Sugar Valley community who were right there across the street when the shooting took place. And one neighbor tells me the family involved was kind and considerate. This was the scene outside neighbors windows on Sugarloaf Drive last night. It really just escalated quickly. Stephen Gillian lives down the block from this house where the shooting took place. Police were here, probably 65 police officers were here. He says he heard 10 to 13 loud gunshots. One of those was self-inflicted, killing 22 year old Salman Mohammed. Heard the police yelling, hey, drop the weapon, drop the weapon. Finally saw some guy in his driveway, you know, just standing there. I'm, I'm assuming that was the guy. And when we had the gunshots, immediately because I had my grandchildren with me, we ran downstairs. Abraley is a neighbor across the street. And when she heard those gunshots, she says she rushed her four grandkids into the basement. Whether it's a setup or not a setup, the shocking for me is what, you know, a young man like him, 22 year old, no longer alive, is a shocking story for me. Today, family and cleaning crews wash away last night's scene. A family, neighbors say were kind and kept to themselves. Two weeks ago, they brought us food. I think they were um, beginning their Ramadan. It seemed like a sweet family that lived there, you know, quiet, never bugged me, so I always assumed they were nice people. But now I talked with another neighbor today who didn't want to go on camera and she tells me that she saw activity next door that made her and her husband feel uncomfortable and they've lived in their home for 20 years and Marius they tell me they plan to move after last night's incident. Marius. Well, well Marissa I want to touch on what that family told you what type of activity did they describe. Well, when I talked with them, they were telling me more about how SUVs would go in and out of the house over the past few years. And last night was just too much for them. They said that's when they feared for their life. Marius. Marissa Sulik reporting live. Marissa, thank you.